guys, Sandy here. Welcome back to my channel. Today's sketch is this one from the Hit Kit Club. Um, lots of florals, a circular photo, and a big old title. Now, I am not going to be cutting my photo into a circle. Um, not because I'm opposed to circles, uh, but for this photo, I feel like if I cut it into a circle, I'm going to lose a lot of the movement of the photo, um, and I don't want to do that. And I'm definitely using this happy die cut because I'm obviously ridiculously happy in this photo. Head is thrown back and laughing. So I am going to be using some Coco Vanilla Daydream and as you can see this side has butterflies on it so everybody in the world knows we're going to be using this uh, pink heart one. Uh, and then I pulled out a wood grain from close to my heart. This kind of um, the word is the word is out of my head, people. Whatever this is, we're going to use this. So let's see what I can do. Now I went ahead and pulled this, um, I'm not exactly sure how to describe it, kind of flower-esque kind of design. I don't know. They're not truly flowers. But I pulled that from my Lovely Leftovers kit because I thought it was a good coordinating pattern uh, for what I had going on over here um, with the chevron wood grain. And oh, I remembered chevron wood grain. Chevron, that was the that was the word I could not remember earlier when I was doing the uh, intro. So I thought that it coordinated well with this wood grain, and also uh, it looked great on top of this pink paper for the background. Now my original thought was to cut the chevrons um, so that you saw full planks and the straight line was gone. I nixed that idea. Um, and decided instead that I was going to add a little bit of tool behind my photos. Uh, and I did that with two layers of tool. And you just it just allows you to see it a little bit more. Um, because I'm using white tool, uh, it is difficult to see. It's almost impossible to see on camera. Um, and in real life, just one layer is a little bit difficult to see. So I added two. And I did pop it up on Fun Foam. And that is just a look that I really like. I added in a doily kind of as a nod to the circle that I'm not cutting my photo into. And then I'm going to put a doily up here where there needs to be some more florals. I take the happy word that I said I was going to use and it's going to overlap the photo. Um, just like it is here in the sketch, the title does overlap the photo. Uh, but instead of more in the center of the photo, mine is going to kind of be hanging off to the side. So I'm using a combination of my ATG tape, uh, which goes uh, over the photo part, and then some foam squares, which uh, is going to allow that happy word to be popped up all the way across. And, you know, the PPY won't be kind of leaning down and hanging down to the bottom of the page. Now I am going to go through my Coco Vanilla die cuts over here and just try to figure out something uh, to use. So obviously I'm going for, for the florals and I really wish that their die cut packs had more florals, um, especially this one. This collection is just beautiful to me. Uh, I love the little pops of yellow in it. It's just something that I just think is gorgeous. Now. If you have been lucky enough to get your hands on the Coco Vanilla Sunkissed collection, which is that beautiful bright collection that just released uh, recently, she actually created two die cut ephemera packs where one is just florals. So she um, she listened she listened to what the people wanted and gave them the florals. Um, yeah. There's very, very, very few things left of Sunkissed left up on the Scrapping Reflections website. Um, it went fast. <laughs> it definitely went fast. Um, so fast that uh, I don't even have a full collection of it. So that's fun. Might have to order some more. Now, I am going to tuck in a little leaf under here just because I felt like the flowers were feeling a little naked. Um, I guess I have a feeling, a feeling, I guess I have a thing for naked tag holes, can't have those, and naked flowers, they need some sort of leaves with them. <laughs> um, because, you know, in, in real life, the flowers aren't going to be just there without any leaves ever, so it makes sense that you have leaves on them. I trimmed off 
um, the little edge of the floral that was tucked underneath of the photo because what a waste if I put that underneath the photo. You don't even get to see it. At first I thought I was going to put it up here at the top where the doily was, but I decided to stick it over here on the left-hand side of the page and put that straight edge that I cut off matching up with the edge of the layout here. So I'm trying to figure out how to get these florals on the page where some of them are popped up, some of them are flat on the layout, and I'm covering up that harsh line uh, between the wood grain and the pink paper, which is part of the reason why I wanted to cut it so that I followed the line of the chevron. Um, then it wouldn't feel like I had to get that, that harsh edge covered up. Um, I decide to pull in a banner. You know, I abandoned the flowers for a little bit because it's given me a little bit of angst and anxiety and stress and all that stuff. And I'm like, you know what? I need a banner here. So I grab that blue banner and there's a banner in the sketch too. So I'm like, yes, I am nodding to the sketch all over the place, even though I am not completely following it exactly. So I'm going to go through, I figure out what flowers I want to use. I'm making sure that I'm getting little pops of yellow uh, because I really do love that yellow in this collection. Uh, it's just something that, you know, it resonates with you. Sometimes you look at a color and you're just like, yeah, that is a gorgeous color. And it just, there's just something about it that just makes your little heart so happy. And the yellow makes my little heart so happy. Now I do put this big flower here and that bad boy doesn't make it onto the final page. Uh, I pick up the layout. I didn't realize it wasn't stuck down um, and it falls down. And then once I look at it, I'm like, oh, I don't need that flower there. I like it just the way it is. So the flower gets put back into the little Coco Vanilla Studio uh, die cut box for another day. And that's a good thing because you know, you don't want to use up every single flower that you own on one layout if you have a lot of papers and things to create more. Most of the time. Sometimes it doesn't matter. Sometimes I'll use an entire thing on a layout and just be like, I'll figure it out later. Um, but I wanted to keep some of the flowers because I knew I was going to want to use them again. How can you not? How can you not? It's just gorgeous stuff. Like the Coco Vanilla just gorgeous. So Daydream was my favorite collection, which is the collection I'm working with, until Sunkissed came out. And then that became my favorite collection, and I don't even have it. <laughs> it's crazy. So I am going to uh, trim off the top flower here that's facing the edge, and then I'm going to pick up that um, doily and trim that off as well. And then go ahead and put those butterflies back face down where they belong. So I'm really liking this layout. I'm like, okay, I don't know what else to do with this. There needs to be something. I feel like I need to put words somewhere. I need to add some enamel dots. Now, I was thinking about originally um, bringing in some gold letter stickers. And I did not do that uh, because once I put that banner there, the place where I would put letter stickers kind of went away. So... I say that because I was going to have the gold letter stickers and then I was going to do a little bit of gold splatter. And the splatter does not happen. Not on this layout at least. Splatter will happen on a layout soon though. I promise. So now I'm just sitting here going, okay, now I've got these hearts down. I'm going to add one more yellow flower because hello, I love little yellow flowers. And then I go to my stash and I find I have some unforgettable uh, enamel dots. Now the colors are not an exact match, but it works. They work together. So up at the top, I'm going to have kind of the whitish, off-whitish, creamy enamel dots down here at the bottom right uh, by the pink uh, heart. I'm going to have the pink enamel dots. And then in the center where the blue heart is, I'm going to have a mixture of both color enamel dots. And I'm doing that because I don't have enough to do what I want to do. Um, so I figured I would mix them in the middle and they would be all alone in their single color on the outside edges. I do grab my white pen and I 
I journal a little bit. There's nothing super um, motivational, inspirational, any of the uh, inals, none of those words um, on this layout. I'm basically just saying how much I love the lobby of the Renaissance Hotel and we had um, grand times in the hotel with laughter and fun. Um, especially this one when it was like my own private photo shoot. So there it is, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, be sure to join the Scrapping Reflections Facebook group. We are having a grand time sharing all of our creations over there. And just really, um, I'm really being inspired lately by what's being shared. It's just gorgeous. So I will see you guys again real soon for another video.